Hi everyone, welcome to week six of the Three Rivers Pantry Challenge. I didn't have a video to share last week because our son had basketball games almost every day, so we made really simple meals and it wasn't from anything we had left over in the pantry. We had hot dogs and different stuff like that, just something easy and quick so we could make it to the ball game. So this week, I'm still working on using up leftovers. Some of the items that I'll be using up today will be this frozen pineapple I have. This was from, I bought a whole pineapple and the kids didn't eat very much of it, so I popped it in the freezer before it went bad. We're gonna use that to make some pineapple fried rice and pineapple pound cake. Then we have instant oatmeal. I don't know if you ever buy the big boxes that have, it's a variety pack, so it has a lot of different kinds. There are certain kinds that my kids like to eat and then sometimes we find the others just sit there for a long time. So I decided that I'm gonna work on using up some of this. So I'm gonna make some instant oatmeal muffins with this. It probably won't use up very many, but it'll use up some. We'll see if we like them and we might continue making that if we do. I do have one item that's been in our freezer for quite a while that I cannot figure out what to use it for. We have some egg rolls that I bought. It was just a box of the egg rolls that you just stick them in the air fryer oven. And I just thought I would ask if any of you have any ideas for ways to use up egg rolls. The kids don't really like them by themselves. I don't think they tasted the way they expected. So if you guys have any ideas of a way to use up some egg rolls, I would greatly appreciate it if you'd leave them in the comments. They're just regular tiny egg rolls. Okay, let's get started. Starting with the instant oatmeal muffins. This recipe only makes 12, but since we haven't tried them before, or I'm not gonna double the recipe, I wanna try them first. So that's what we're working with. 12 instant oatmeal muffins. It also has a streusel topping, but I'm gonna leave that off because my kids don't seem to eat it when I make special toppings like that for muffins. I'm gonna start with one and three fourths cup of flour, one third cup of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, fourth a teaspoon of salt. You'll notice my salt's almost gone. I'm trying to use this all up because I'm gonna switch to the pink Himalayan salt once it's gone. That was a fourth a teaspoon of salt. And then two packets of instant oatmeal. I've chosen the apples and cinnamon. I know my kids like apple muffins, so I thought this was a good one to start with. Just gonna give this a little bit of a mix. And then I need to make a well in the middle. Okay, I have a nice well in the middle. Okay, my one beaten egg is going in the center. I have one cup of milk. One fourth a cup of vegetable oil. Do you guys ever look for stuff in the kitchen and just wonder how your measuring cups disappear? I should have a fourth cup that matches these, but I don't know where it's at. Don't know what happened to it. I feel like stuff disappears all the time, but that could be part of my children being the ones that empty out the dishwasher. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm just gonna mix this together really well until it's just mixed. You don't wanna over mix it. That is something new I've learned. I didn't realize that over mixing can cause stuff to get hard, like biscuits, cornbread. I didn't realize that was why I said to mix it until it's just mixed. So just a tip in case anybody else didn't realize that. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. All right, I'm gonna align my muffin pan with 12 of these silicone muffin cups. I don't know if anyone else uses these, but I really enjoy using these. They're a little bit of a pain to wash because you do have to hand wash them. At least mine never come clean in the dishwasher, but it's nice to not have that paper that you throw away and waste all the time. Beware if you buy the light colors though. I don't know if you can see that, they seem to stain. These stained, but my darker colors are fine. They don't have any stain on them. Just gonna use a cookie scoop and fill up my cups now. And I did preheat my oven. The recipe says to preheat it to 400, but I only preheat it to 375 because I have a convection oven. And I know someone commented on one of my previous posts that the problem on my muffins might have been that I had the heat too hot. 
And I do know they said for the convection ovens, you probably should turn them down. So I'm just gonna try cooking it on a little lower heat this time. See if it turns out a little nicer. I do appreciate when you leave me comments. I find it super helpful. And I try to apply all your suggestions when I'm baking. They're ready and my oven is ready. So I'm gonna put them in the oven for 16 minutes and we'll see if they're done when they come out. The muffins came out looking really good. They are a little funny shaped. I think that some of them are overfilled. It said to just divide the batter equally, but it made a few of them funny shaped, but that's all right. They'll still taste great, I'm sure. Next, I'm gonna get started on supper, which is the pineapple fried rice. I'm actually making that to go with some leftover meatballs we have. Not only last weekend did we have basketball games, but um, two of our children turned 18 on Super Bowl Sunday. So they had a Super Bowl party and we have leftover meatballs that we've been eating all week. So we're gonna have the leftover meatballs with this pineapple fried rice. And not only will I be using up pineapples, but I'm gonna use up some of these peppers from our garden last year that have been in our freezer. First thing I'm gonna do is just use a little extra virgin olive oil. And I'm just gonna put a couple tablespoons of it in this pan and start getting this pan hot. This recipe calls for two cups of cold white rice. Shane doesn't like white rice, so we always use brown rice. So I'll be using that. Um, I have already cooked them. They're not cold like it calls for, but I just really didn't have time for my rice to be cold before I made supper tonight, because once again, we have a game to go to. So now that this is nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my half onion that I've already chopped up. And I'm gonna add those bell peppers to it. We'll just cook these for a few minutes until they're nice and soft. Now that that has softened up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and add in one and a half cups of chopped pineapple. It does call for fresh pineapple. Mine was frozen when it was fresh, so. Okay, that just needed to cook for a few minutes until it started to brown. So now I'm gonna add in my two cups of cooked rice. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. And it says just to keep it on the heat until that's well mixed in. Now it did call for garlic and garlic is one of the things I have not bought more of. So I'm just gonna put a little garlic powder in it. Okay, that's ready. Like I said, I'm gonna have meatballs with mine just to help get rid of some of our leftover meatballs. Before I put the meatballs in it, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste just to see how it tastes. That soy sauce smells so good if you like soy sauce. I just wanna make sure the taste is right. That's really good. I love how the pineapple gives it just a little bit of sweetness. I think those barbecue meatballs are gonna go really well with this. So that's just a way I'm using up some leftover pineapple and some leftover meatballs. Hi everyone, I ran out of time last night before Andrew's ball game, before I made our pineapple pound cake. So that's what I'm gonna be working on tonight. We're gonna to get this pineapple pound cake made with the remaining pineapple that was frozen in my freezer. I have just enough left to make this. So I went ahead and I preheated my oven to 350. You might be able to hear that in the background since that is turned on. The first thing it tells us to do is take one cup of crushed pineapple. So this is the pineapple I had left. I used a rolling pin and the fork and crushed it the best I could. Now we're supposed to squeeze out as much juice as possible from this crushed pineapple. So I just got out my cheesecloth and a bowl and I'm gonna try to squeeze out all the juice. Hopefully this will work. I'm sure it'd be a lot different if it was store-bought pineapple. You could just squeeze out the can, but since this was fresh and then it got frozen, it's probably got extra water in it, extra liquid in it. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now we're gonna put it in a blender and we're gonna blend it up until it's a nice smooth puree. puree. Oh, it looks funny. Oh, I'm gonna call that good. Next, I'm gonna take a medium sized bowl and I'm gonna add one and three fourths cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, three-fourths a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm just gonna give that a quick mix and then set it aside. Next, 
we're going to cream together our butter and sugar. It calls for one and a fourth sticks of butter and three fourths a cup of sugar. And I'm just going to cream that together really well. That was softened butter. I don't know if you could tell it had been sitting out, but it was softened butter that I used. And it said to beat this about two minutes until it's nice and fluffy, which it looks to me. Now I'm going to beat in the eggs one at a time. It calls for three eggs. As always, I have my eggs already cracked in a bowl. Now I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of vanilla, half of our pineapple, and the recipe calls for half a cup of milk and it says to add half of that at this point, and half the flour mixture. Okay, now I'm gonna mix that until it's well incorporated. Now we'll go ahead and add the rest of the milk, pineapple, and flour mixture. like this is now well mixed. I have a new bread pan I got at the thrift store the other day. I'm excited to use. It's a glass one. So I have it greased. I just used some cooking spray in it and I'm going to pour all my batter in here. This is going to go into the oven for 55 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. And just a reminder, my oven was set at 350. The pineapple pound cake just came out of the oven and it smells wonderful. It does look like maybe it got a little overdone, so maybe 55 minutes was too much or I should turn down my convection oven. So I tried out the muffins this morning and I just wanted to share, if you leave the streusel off, they're not quite as sweet as they should be. I thought they were still good. They had the apple taste to them and everything. They just probably would be a lot sweeter with the streusel on them. Since next week's the last full week of February, I'm going to take some of your guys' suggestions for items that I still have left over in my pantry, and I will be using those to make our dinners or breakfast. So stay tuned for next week so you can see maybe your suggestions being used. Hopefully I was able to provide you just a few ideas, maybe for a way to use up things that you have left over. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time.